Right now, everything is a one-hit kill. Every attack is a one-hit kill. Let me bring this over. So no matter what kind of attack you do, as long as you hit an enemy, the enemy dies right now. I'm going to change that in this video. I want to have an HP system where the enemy might require multiple hits in order to die, in order to get killed. I'm going to go into the damage detector, because that's where the code is. And instead of having the senator, we're going to have a private float value, private float HP. So if HP goes below zero, it means you're dead. I'm going to serialize field so that you can edit the HP in the editor. And I'm going to scan the code and get rid of all the damage taken in Azure variables. In this case, we're checking whether damage taken is zero or not. Basically, we're checking whether the player is dead. So I'll create a function called is dead. And if HP is equal to zero or below, the character is dead, return true. Otherwise, return false. So in this case, if the character is dead, we return, meaning we don't have to take any more damage. This one might be a little more interesting. Instead of adding one on every single damage, we're gonna take a variable from the attack info. I'll create another public vote here called damage, where we can measure or where we can decide how much damage each, each attack is gonna do. I'm going to come back to the damage detector and we take in the damage HP minus the, the amount of damage from the attack info. And after taking damage, if HP is below zero, let's use the function if the player is dead and we turn on ragdoll. If the player is not dead, then we're gonna do some damage taken, damage reaction, sort of an animation. I'll do this later. For now, we're just gonna take damage. Nothing's gonna happen. But if the HP goes below zero after taking multiple damages, we turn on Ragdoll. Make sure you save all the code. I'm gonna go back, make sure that there are no errors. Looks like we have a few. Just go through all of them and fix the errors. So damage taken zero means the character is not dead. So is dead is false here. And this is the code for the spike trap. And whenever you are on the track trap, you're pretty much dead no matter how much HP you have. Let me create a new function in the damage detector. I'll call it take total damage, meaning your HP will become zero. So here, whenever you land on the trap, you're dead no matter what. So you take total damage. HP becomes zero instantly. Let me go back and check for more errors. Again, damage taken is over zero, means the player is dead. Is dead. We have one more. Again, over zero means player is dead. Save all the code, go back to Unity. Okay, all the errors are gone. I'm gonna look at all of the attack info, the attack scriptable object, and we need to assign a value to the damage. For now, let me try one, and I'm gonna, I need to assign an HP for the Ybot, 
the original Y bot. Here's the damage detector. HP, I'll say it's three. Apply all. So all of the characters are now gonna have three HP by default. And all of the attacks are one, one damage. So you would have to attack something three times in order to kill it. Okay. And on the trap, you're dead instantly. Let me try to combo one more time. That was a little bug right there. Right now, the enemy is not reacting to the damage that doesn't kill it. We're going to add some sort of a animation or some physics to show that the enemy is taking damage. And the third hit that didn't get registered, the punch was actually going here behind the enemy. It was a hook. We need to make the collider bigger. Let's look at Sophie's left hand and right hand. Left hand, right hand. So I'm going to increase the radius of the left hand and the right hand and try the combo again. Okay, should be fine now. Hopefully. Okay, that's it for this video. We'll do more in the next one. Thanks for watching.